what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co today we are talking about my first year in business and things that i've learned although my first year was actually back in may may 17th to be exactly so now we're like a year and a half in <laughs> that i've been in business it's never too late to talk about um, things that you've learned to still kind of reflect on, you know, what you've accomplished and things like that. So that way you can, you know, gear up for as you enter into your second year or even your third year um, projections of your business. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's just get started. have learned during my first well now kind of year and a half into my business is the burnout is real okay and it can happen real fast um, I tell a lot of candle makers especially students that I've coached um, in my how to start a candle biz for beginners coaching program course um, is that make sure that you really really have a passion for making candles right make sure this is something that you truly truly enjoy um, whether that's whether be it it's a way for you to relax or it's your outlet or it eases your anxiety or you know you have a true backstory as to why you started making candles in the first place keep that at the forefront in your brain I say that because once you get into the hustle and bustle of the admin stuff the um the real business stuff putting on your business hat and taking off your creative hat staying up all hours of the night trying to crunch your cost of goods served uh sold i'm sorry and trying to figure out pricing and just maybe making projections for the next quarter or two um the passion sometimes the love for the actual craft can get lost because the business is so vast and what you need to do to actually run and operate a, a hopefully a profitable business right all this money that you're investing your time your energy sacrificing time away from your kids or your or your partners and families um, you want to see some light at the end of the tunnel you want to see some progress and so what I suggest to you and what I've had to learn to do is it's okay to take space from your business just like it's okay to take space from anything in your life sometimes you just need to take a step back reflect make sure this is something that you truly truly enjoy so that way that stays at the forefront of your brain and so that way when you do have to you know sit down and at the end of the month and maybe do bookkeeping tasks or pay your sales taxes or what have you um, it's easy to just once you start making candles or if you have candles that you have to batch out that smile and that love and that excitement for the business is still there nail master how to nail down the sale remember right um that you are your story you are the representation of your brand whatever your brand is however you choose to execute and and display your brand you are the face of that brand and your customer is that um, receiving consumer and so le learn how to master um, solving the customer's problems so one of the things again that i coach in my program is um understanding who your customer is who your target market is who who do you want to talk to who do you want to sell to who do you want to be browsing your site now anybody can browse your site right but who who in particular or what cluster of um, individuals or consumers do you want to target and and master the sale to so be it your layout of your website the posts that you do on Facebook and or Instagram um, your packaging 
um, the, the timing in which you ship products, all of that stuff goes into your, your sales and marketing and advertising. So master that skill. Um, I've learned from my, even my business coach, you have to know how to close the deal. Um, what is going to cause them to, to hit uh, ch finalize checkout on their cart, on your, on your website? What is going to intrigue customers to um, read about your story on your website or get inspired or even motivated by your story? I've had customers reach out to me that um, that were that became customers, but also was so inspired by my story and could absolutely relate. So the post that you see on Lady Simone Candle Co. on Instagram and or Facebook, um, I haven't posted there in a minute, but um, all of that is, I'm talking to moms, I'm talking to those who battle postpartum anxiety, I'm talking to those who have um, maybe miscarried in, in their lives. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm family oriented when I speak. Um, I'm encouraging, I'm self-empowering, right? All of that eventually gets them to check out because they're interested in my story. They fell in love with the story. They connect in some way. So learn how to master those skills. Lesson number three, invest in yourself. So, you know, I have a business coach. I actually had, I've had two business coaches over the course of my um, business so far. I, I still currently have a business coach, but my first business coach was helping me with um, learning how to make courses and, and um, ebooks and templates and all of that good stuff, freebies, things that you all download and the course that some of you have enrolled in. Um, she coached me on that and then I have a current business coach that is helping me learn how to kind of build my different branches of business, right? And one thing I think that we misconstrue because sometimes social media can kind of make us misconstrue this and uh, we feel like to be great, you have to do it all by yourself. You have to know everything. Um, it, you know, it's, it's all you, right? And even for me, this is a one man show. You know what I mean? I do everything in house. Um, but to be great does not mean that you have all the answers and you can do it by yourself. Invest in invest in yourself. And that could mean investing in a business coach, investing in a mentor, investing your time in binging YouTube videos on how to master your craft. Your time is actually more valuable than money, believe it or not. Um, it takes a long time to become a profitable business, depending on the business, right? And candles is that type of industry where it takes a while to really build probably the empire that you're envisioning for your business. And so don't be afraid to sometimes put your business or the money that you invest in supplies and raw materials to put that money elsewhere into a coach or, or a course or a program to invest in yourself. When you invest in those programs and coaches, you're investing essentially in yourself and in your business. It's only gonna benefit you. Um, so don't feel scared or, or um, feel like you can't ask for help. Absolutely ask for help. I, I still to this day ask for help. I don't have all the answers, <laughs> right? I've only been doing bit the business part of it a couple years. Um, the craft is going to be there, but to, to learn how to build a sustainable business is a whole nother monster. And so don't be afraid to invest in yourself. I've taken leaps and I've spent thousands of dollars um, to get the coaching that I need to help me reach my quarterly and, and yearly goals. So um, that's one of the lessons that I've learned. I've benefited from coaching. I'm benefiting, I'm benefiting currently from coaching. Um, I've learned a lot with the finance piece from asking questions and, and trying to understand the numbers and the ins and outs of my business. And so it's it's only going to help you in the long run. I'm a witness to it. Um, so don't be afraid to put yourself out there and say, hey, I need, I need some help. I need some guidance. I, I, I need a little, a little advice. And sometimes just watching videos and hearing, hearing me talk right now is one thing, but when you actually can get that one-on-one -on -one time or um, that hands-on, uh, coaching and mentoring sometimes that can kind of take it to a whole nother level. 
Number four, celebrate the small wins. Every milestone, every goal, anything that you accomplished, if you nail, if you finally nailed down your formula, if you finally picked out the right wicks and everything is burning right, if you sold your first 10 candles, celebrate that it's okay to give yourself a high five and i had to learn that um sometimes i have to take a step back from social media um just it just as like an individual and then as a business owner because sometimes you can get caught up in seeing everybody else's successes and sometimes that can be a little discouraging and almost intimidating wondering if this market even has room for you um but every customer I celebrate. Every time I see an order come through my phone, I celebrate. Every time I'm able to book um, a festival, which I have one coming up in a couple months, actually next month, um, anytime I'm able to collaborate with someone or inspire someone, I celebrate all of that because this was the reason why I started was to inspire and motivate and also share the sense that I love with you all. So make sure you celebrate yourself. That's important. Celebrate every single win that you get from starting, running, and operating your business. Lesson number five, and this, this, is, a, this is the type of lesson that I think everyone should just have and should just know in their daily lives, their daily walk in their journey, is to never stop learning. I've, I've said this a lot of times throughout my videos. I say this to my students. Never, never stop learning. I think the disconnect, or at least what I do not see a lot um, being spoken about on YouTube or, you know, for people that I follow, is that business is not just about the products and services that you sell. Business is finance, business is psychology, business is sales, business is marketing and advertising, it's communication skills, it's um, all of those skills, it's all of those skills that we have to learn how to hone in on. Um, there's leadership skills, right? Um, even though you're a one man show, there's still leadership qualities and learning how to take charge of your business and not so much um, and, and just learning how to think about what, you know, your vision for your business and not feel so intimidated to take risk and and um, execute the, the true vision that you have and believe in yourself. All of those skills take time to develop and you should never, never stop learning or tapping into different mediums that can help you kind of sharpen those skills that don't necessarily come natural you know, because we just don't wake up and become business owners, right? We wake up, we have a vision, we have a dream, or, you know, we have a skill that now we want to introduce to the world. But there's a lot of avenues that come with operating and running a sustainable business. So never stop learning, never stop tapping into people or resources that can help sharpen those skills. Number six is cash flow and business expenses. That's probably probably one of the biggest lessons I've learned. Um, it's not something that you learn how to manage overnight. It takes time to understand the ins and outs of your business, to understand your numbers, um, to understand like, okay, this is my goal, but how am I going to reach my goal? Um, there's times where you may have zero figure months and then there's times where you may have great months um, It just depends right it it money comes in slow, but it can leave fast right because you have business expenses to attend to um, And then if you're like myself I probably spend more than I probably should or could um, Because of the investments that I make I invest a lot in education and coaching and mentoring um, I invest a lot in ways that I can put myself out there, festivals and paying. And there's times where I give um, my products away for free um, to influential people because I'm trying to just kind of spread spread my, my business out there and be seen in other areas outside of my local um, area. And so um, one of the things I can tell you all is just understand that, you know, the money comes in slow and it, it will leave fast. Um, but just understand that it takes time. It just, it, 
it's just simple as that. It takes time to build a sustainable business, especially with the industry we're in. Um, learning how to not only, you know, get customers, but retain them. Um, you're constantly changing your marketing and advertising strategies. And so there's a lot of hats that you have to wear. Um, but just understand that, um, you know, be patient, be patient. <laughs> um, and that's why I invest so much in coaching because you, you need to learn how to build a sustainable business and then I'm able to you know share what I've learned and you know even my business coach you know has probably the biggest lesson she taught me is learn how to price yourself properly pricing your candles I see a lot of people especially in Facebook well I'm only in one Facebook group but just a lot of questions and comments that I see um, I have this four ounce ten how much should I price it for and it's to me and I, and I teach this in my coaching program, just because you have a, like, you can't just hold up a four ounce 10 and say, hey, how much did I price this for? Like, it's way more, it's more into learning how to properly price your products for profit than just buying tens off Amazon and just trying to figure, just asking around how much did you price for it? What this person may charge for a four ounce 10 may not be what I charge because um, there's a lot that goes in to her packaging may be set up different than mine, okay? I may put extra stuff in my products than she do. And so my cost may be a little bit more than hers. And so I need to price it properly. Every chicken sandwich at a fast food restaurant is not the same. What you pay at McDonald's for a chicken sandwich meal is not what you're gonna pay at Wendy's. They're relatively the same, but they're not exactly the exact same price. You're not going to go every single fast food restaurant and pay the same for a chicken sandwich. You're just not. Every business has their own expenses. And so you can't just look at my business and say, oh, well, she has a nine ounce jar and she charges $15 for it. So I'll just put mine at 15, but it may not be 15 for you. So learn how to price your products properly, price for profit. Um, and learn how to manage your cash flow and always keep in the in the front of your brain when you're running when you're building a business money um it takes time it just takes time and the ultimate lesson that i learned in my year and a half of business that i think is vital to share is that to remind you that you do not have to have it all figured out in one day people you don't you don't just relax breathe just breathe I know you get excited. You see Instagram and candles and Pinterest and you, you're here on YouTube. You're watching me. You're watching other candle makers on YouTube. And, you know, you just, you probably think we just woke up and boom, here we are. Like, no, boo. It, this takes a while, honey. This takes time to build. And I, you know, look, even this year I had... I had my plan for it. like after I relaunched in May with my rebrand I had a whole plan for May through December right I had collections coming out I had things coming out you know new edition arriving right really really sick really really sick and so it put a pin in my plans and so I'm I was very very disappointed but I also had to remind myself like look P you you got you got another chance or another opportunity to release the collections you want to release like your business isn't going anywhere so um and and you don't have to have it all figured out today paris like you don't like this actually gives gives me more time to to really perfect my collections and really take my time to figure out packaging and things that i want to offer and so just slow down like everybody's releasing their fall collections and you know everything is just all fall and pumpkin-y and i'm just sitting over here like well dang i had my whole plan for my collections and you know things just kind of took a step back for me but um don't get discouraged don't get discouraged by that you do not have to have it all figured out um have your plan right but sometimes things don't go according to plan i have visions for my business i see uh, what i could be right but i can't be that today <laughs> I can't just wake up and it be here so just slow down take a breath right there's nothing wrong with getting inspired by watching myself or others or people on Instagram there's nothing wrong with 
you know, using us for motivation and, and learning and understand and perfecting your skills. But that's just it. I always tell beginners, perfect the craft first. Perfect the craft first. Everything else will slowly build itself and, 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 and get into place. So just relax. You'll get there. <laughs> I know you're excited, but you want it to be right. Your name and you are the representer of your business and your brand and your name is on this. If you're going to do it, do it right. Okay. So those are my lessons. Those are my nuggets that I wanted to give you. I'll be um, putting out more videos of me back in my kitchen because I have some things that are coming up and I'm feeling better. I'm getting my strength back. Um, but I thought I would start off my comeback with just some nuggets because, you know, it's that time of year where everyone's releasing fall candles and um, winter scents and everyone is getting ready to really release and start their businesses you know I kind of see that influx um, from people that I talk to and youtubers that I talk to everybody is ready and and want to get started on making candles so I just thought I would kind of open up um, t you know my comeback with some with some nuggets and some tips and some you know just some things that I've learned just dropping some gems for y'all some lady C gems I guess so um, I'm so happy to be back and to be making videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope I was able to teach you a little something. And so until next time, bye.